सो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल गोविंद नारायण पुरोहित वेर इन वी आर डिस्कसिंग द वेरियस टॉपिक्स ऑफ थीरियोजिनोलॉजी एंड इन आवर कंटिन्यूड लेक्चर ऑन इनफर्टिलिटी इन द मेल डोमेस्टिक एनिमल्स वी डिस्कस अबाउट इम्पोटेंशिया जन एंड आई इन आवर टू डेज लेक्चर फ्रेंड्स ऑल दोज हु हैव सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल आई एक्सटेंड माई सिंसियर थैंक्स टू दैम एंड इफ यू हैव नॉट ऑलरेडी सब्सक्राइब काइंडली डू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल सो दैट यू रिसीव आर वीडियोज वेरी फास्ट now we discuss impotentia genendi associated with abnormal semen production impotentia genendi associated with abnormal semen production could be because of pathologies of the testes the epididymis the vas deferens and the accessory sex glands the pathologies of the testes could be congenital or acquired and uh, this is uh, picture shows the uh, normal structure of the penis the pathologies of the uh, testes which are congenital include testicular hypoplasia free martinism hermaphrodites and cryptorchids testicular hypoplasia is caused by a single recessive autosomal gene the sperm producing seminiferous tubules are poorly developed and remaining reproductive organ developing normal the animal expresses normal libido and mounting behavior the leydig cells and testosterone concentration are not affected but no sperm are present within the lumen the prognosis is poor due to a congenital origin and such bull should not be used for breeding or artificial insemination then free martin is a male born uh, coating with a female the female is 100% sterile the male is 91% fertile and 9% non inflammatory degenerative changes may be seen then cryptorchidism is the retention of one or both testes in the abdomen testes may be located ectopically under the skin of the ventral caudal abdomen alongside the penis rarely in the perineal region femoral canal or inguinal canal or may be uh, rarely abdominal it may be unilateral or bilateral uh, unilateral affecting the right testes is much more common uh, the bulls or males which are cryptorchid since the condition is considered to be inherited should be avoided uh, for use in breeding the cryptorchid testes are usually small soft and flaccid and they fail to produce sperm spermatogenesis is completely inhibited because of the high temperature of the affected testes but the uh, sexual behavior is normal because testosterone production is not affected the sertoli cell tumor and seminoma is common then we talk of the hermaphrodite a hermaphrodite or an intersex refers to an animal of equivocal sex since the physical characteristics including the external genitalia are inconclusive it is most common in cattle pigs and goats based only on the presence of gonads and divided into three groups the uh, true hermaphroditism in which the gonads are over testes external genitalia are female and sexual behavior is female male pseudo hermaphroditism have testes hypoplastic testes or cryptorchid testes external genitalia are female like there is a large clitoris and rudimentary penis the sexual behavior is male like then there is female pseudo hermaphroditism there is a ovary and the male genitalia and the sexual behavior is like a female then Uh, the acquired cause uh, testicular pathologies uh, include testicular degeneration orchitis and the fibrosis of the testes testicular degeneration can occur because of thermal causes vascular disturbances irradiation hormonal changes age infectious disease chemical causes autoimmunization neoplasm of the testes and testicular tumors in the dog the thermal uh, causes uh, result into increased temperature affects the spermatids spermatozoa and spermatocytes but does not affect the spermatogonia and leydig cells the vascular disturbances like torsion uh, or strongyle larvae in the testicular artery in the horse or varicocele can result into testicular degeneration then age with age testicular some testicular degeneration is normal in dogs at 10 years cat 12 years of age bulls greater than 8 years of age 
and irradiation spermatozoa or uh, spermatocytes are more sensitive to irradiation while latex and sertoli cells are resistant then infectious diseases like brucellosis epivag ibr can result into testicular degeneration then uh, tumors of the anterior pituitary gland uh, or the tumors uh, such as the dystrophia adipogenitalis in dogs chemical causes like uh, chlorinated naphthalenes naphth antimony compounds dipping of rams in arsenic solution can cause degeneration of seminiferous tubules then autoimmunization subcutaneous injections of autologous testicular material plus fluent adjuvant can result into uh, testicular degeneration testicular neoplasm are rare in all domestic animals except dogs in dogs interstitial cell tumors or adenomas or ledig cell tumors or sertoli cell tumors are common ledig cell tumor is the most common tumor in old dogs and sertoli cell tumors is the least common the clinical signs include uh, that the testis size and consistency are not altered except in bulls with chronic degeneration and with resultant fibrosis increased proportion of detached sperms is the first morphological sign of degeneration semen concentration and motility will be varied depending upon the degree and duration of the condition the diagnosis is uh, based on semen evaluation for example decrease semen quality and fertility based on ultrasonography hyperechoic and acoustic shadowing of the testicular tissue based on histological examination uh, by testicular biopsy the prognosis depends on the causative factor and the duration of the uh, problem the degree of degeneration and age of the animal severe testicular degeneration leads to fibrosis and calcification and recovery is seldom possible the treatment uh, in, uh, includes removal of the primary cause followed by sexual rest balanced diets supplemented with vitamin a and vitamin e exercise use of hormones is not satisfactory and testosterone fsh preparation and thyroxine have not been found to be of therapeutic value in case of testicular degeneration cold packs may be applied uh, in disease glucocorticoid agents along with antibiotics might be helpful in reducing the inflammatory reactions then inflammation of the testes known as orchitis may be caused by bacterial infection such as brucella and some viral agents such as epivag it is commonly unilateral then bilateral ascending infection from the urinary tract is postulated but hematogenous spread seems more probable in acute cases scrotum becomes hot painful and edematous treatment includes dressing with antiseptics and application of ice packs sexual rest is given to the affected animals broad range antibiotics with glucocorticoids are suggested then we talk of testicular fibrosis testicular prolonged testicular degeneration or testicular inflammation can lead to testicular fibrosis or testicular calcification fibrotic changes in testes of buffalo bulls uh, were seen affected with uh, tuberculosis this picture shows fibrosis uh, in a testes of a buffalo bull with uh, affected with tuberculosis then the pathologies of the epididymis epididymitis spermiostasis aplasia of the mesonephric ducts and spermatocele epididymitis is the inflammation of epididymis usually occurring secondary to orchitis the cause could be infectious causes like brucellosis and other diseases in the ram brucella bovis uh, is uh, known to have a venereal transmission brucella ovis Uh, unilateral epididymitis results in reduced fertility whereas bilateral obstruction results in sterility so this is uh, a unilateral epididymitis in a bull then what is spermiostasis and spermio uh, spermatocele spermiostasis due to distension of efferent or epididymum tubules with the secondary formation of spermatic granulomas or blind rudimentary mesonephric tubules in the region of the head of the epididymis this is common in bucks and rams and is hereditary there is no treatment and such animals should not be treated then a spermatocele is a cyst that contains spermatozoa they occur in the head of the epididymis or less commonly in the spermatic cord clinically they resemble epididymal cysts but contain milky rather than clear fluid and pathologies of the vas deferens and ampullae 
Inflammation of the vas deferens is usually associated with or orchitis, epididymitis, or seminal vesiculitis. Segmental aplasia of the vas deferens and ampulla, mainly due to abnormalities of the Wolfian duct or mesonophic duct system, has been observed. So here you can see the pathology of the accessory sex gland. Then seminal vesiculitis is the most common abnormality of the accessory sex gland in cattle and buffalo. The etiology could be brucellosis, TB, mycoplasmosis. Uh, etc then it could be unilateral or bilateral uh, this one uh, is a uh, seminal vesiculitis in a bull the diagnosis is based on transrectal examination ultrasonography presence of high number of leukocytes in the semen but this is not confirmatory because leukocytes may also come from other portions of the urogenital tract the prognosis is fair to poor depending on the causative agent Secondary lesions of the testes, epididymis, ampullae or prostate should also be evaluated and the animal may be slaughtered. Broad spectrum antibiotics may be given for two weeks, for example, uh, tilmycosin uh, every 48 hours for three treatments. Then prostatic hyperplasia is a age-related uh, disorder of the dog and humans. And it is, occurs due to an endocrine imbalance with an excess of testosterone secreted causing hyperplasia of the prostate gland. The enlarged gland may contain small cysts and cysts may be calcified. It affects dogs more than 5 years of age. Uh, the treatment is castration as this removes the source of androgen causing hyperplasia. Within 2 to 3 weeks, the glands become too noticeably involute and by 6 to 8 weeks, it is relatively small in size and atrophy. Prostatic hyperplasia may cause urinary incontinence in dogs. Phenosteride is a uh, pharmacological agent which can be given uh, daily at the dose rate of 0 0.1 to 0 0.5 milligram per kg body weight uh, for uh, 16 weeks. Can help in uh, the therapy of prostatic hyperplasia. You can see enlarged prostate uh, this is a normal prostate, so it will cause uh, shortening of the lumen of the ureter and urinary incontinence. So you can contact me at my email gnpobs at the rate gmail.com. This is my LinkedIn channel link and this is my YouTube channel link. Kindly listen to my lectures completely. Give your comments, suggestions on my YouTube channel and share and subscribe to my channel Govind Narayan Purohit if you like them. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you.